What's the creepiest thing you've ever done? About 10 years ago, a friend of mine was going through a bad breakup. She needed something to cheer her up so I went to a local party city, bought about 40 different balloons filled with helium, some Groucho Marx glasses, and a noisemaker. I went to her apartment, had her buzz me in, and took the elevator up to her floor. Her door was open a crack, so I kicked it open and started singing hello my baby with the noisemaker thing in my mouth. A few seconds into the song, through all the balloons which were blocking my view, I see a woman who is not my friend that I came to see, wearing nothing but a towel that was probably thrown on the second I kick the door and I stop singing just as she starts to scream. Then a naked man, who looked to be about 10 feet tall, built like Hercules, with a deep look of hatred burning in his eyes, pushes aside the balloons and starts screaming something at me as I turn and run as fast as my fat ass could towards the elevator. I finally made it to my friend's apartment, one floor up just after she got off the phone from calling the police after hearing the screams in the apartment directly below her. In 5th or 6th grade I sat for a while behind the girl I liked. Sometimes she'd brush her hair and individual hairs would end up on my desk, which I often took home with me. One day before school I went in the bathroom and tied one around my penis. I spent the day thinking it gave me abnormal athletic prowess with which to impress her on recess, along with any number of other voodoo traits. She still never talked to me. I worked in an office one summer. Out of boredom, I wanked in the toilets one day and accidentally, but very obviously, got jizz on my trousers somehow. To cover it up, I forced myself to vomit on my trousers, fingers down the throat. Then I went out to my boss and said I needed to go home. Crisis averted. I'm not the most beautiful dude. And if I tilt my head a little bit and bulge my eyeballs out I look really goddamn creepy. Anyway, as my girlfriend and I were coming out of a movie theater I overheard these little high school kids making fun of her weight. So after the movie was over and I saw them get in their car, I sort of snuck up to their driver's side window and started super eye bulge staring at the kids in the car while heaving my chest in and out really fast and flexing my shoulders. I wasn't going to do anything of course, I just thought it would be damn funny. Anyway. Before I did anything the high school kid in the driver's seat flipped out and backed up really fast, wheel screamingly fast, into the front of another parked car. I just walked away really fast. One night I was walking home really late and I thought this guy was following me but he was walking like 10 steps ahead of me. He was making all the turns I was too, I guess he lived near my apartment but I didn't think of this at the time. In my inebriated state I wanted to make sure he didn't try to mug me. So I tried to walk faster up to him and show him I'm not scared slash wasn't going to get mugged passively. He was scared and didn't want me to get close and started awkwardly and quickly walking away from me. Then it hit me that this guy was really scared of me, just like I was scared of him, so I just started laughing and said I don't know who's more scared, me or you. The dude didn't even turn around, he just sprinted off into the night. He probably shit his pants thinking I was going to murder him or something because of my crazy laugh. I found a girl's cell phone when I was walking home from school, I was in high school at the time. I added my name to her contacts with a heart after it, and returned the phone. I didn't know, until I saw her, that she was a middle schooler. When I was a freshman in high school, I had a super hot biology teacher. She thought I was hilarious and said I was the brightest student in her class etc. Anyways, she would always take pictures with me during the course of the school year. End of the year came around, and she put all those pictures in a collage and gave it to me. I took it home and fapped. I did the entire summer. When I moved out, I took the thing with me. It's in my closet on the top shelf as I speak. One night I when I was walking outside with some friends I noticed someone through their front window masturbating on their couch. I took out my camera, turned on the flash, and took a picture. I honestly didn't care if the picture came out but I wanted the person to notice the flash and then wonder if someone has a picture of them jacking it. I had a basement room with a view out onto the main street at my college. A group of girls moved in next door and they were outside painting their porch and dancing to Katy Perry, while wearing Daisy Dukes and bikinis on top. I took the opportunity to open a slit in my blinds and while standing about 8 feet from them, fap. I was at my girlfriend's house and her roommate had a rough night of drinking before. She was lying on the floor of the bathroom so she could be near the toilet. I came by and started talking to her about the night before. At some point her robe opened up exposing her breasts. 
I didn't tell her and I hung around delaying the conversation much past the point it would have naturally ended. When I was a little kid, I was in love with my 45-year-old neighbor. I'd often let myself into his house and just watch him from the hallway until he noticed me. I was four years old, so it wasn't as creepy as it could have been, but I'm sure it made him feel real weird. I also stole his cat. I kept it in my closet until my parents discovered it when it started meowing pitifully the next day. In college I had a housemate with a gorgeous ass who was quite a fan of yoga pants. When she was in the kitchen I would sometimes come in and chat with her. I would pretend to text on my phone but the camera would be rolling while she was turned to face the burner or the sink. The resulting video was never fapable, but I'll be damned if I didn't try a couple more times. I worked in a small office for a couple years in my mid-twenties. One of my co-workers was a rather attractive 40-something widow with three kids. I would be the last one to leave the office quite often. On one such occasion, I made my way over to her desk a half hour or so after everyone was gone for the day. She had pictures of her 14-year-old son, 19-year-old daughter and 20-year-old son, who had spina bifida, sitting on her desk. It was a school picture of her daughter when she was, I believe, 17. I sat down in co-worker's chair, turned the pictures of her sons around, pulled my slacks down, and fapped furiously. Around midnight, I was at the bar throwing darts with some friends when I suddenly sprinted outside without explanation, jumped into my car, sped over to the office, and turned the pictures of her sons back around. I dated this one girl that always slept in a spaghetti strap tank top. On nights when she didn't put out but stayed over. After she was asleep I would carefully slip a strap off her shoulder and expose a breast. When she was drunk, I'd go for exposing both. I'd lightly touch her nipples until I had a raging harden, then I'd fap. I finished the routine by dabbing a small amount of jizz on her nipple before pulling her tank back up. To keep from waking her, it sometimes took me a very long time to accomplish all this. Like, more than an hour. Well not something I did but what my ex did while we were dating. She was obsessed with me and would carry all my profile pictures of my Facebook on her person at all times. Then she found out that I was talking to other girls so she changed all of their numbers on my phone to her. Oh and best part, I recently found out she had licked the majority of my personal belongings, including my toothbrush, to make sure that I would stay by her. We are no longer dating. I found a phone in the parking lot after a concert and I did what any red-blooded American would do. I looked through all the pictures and I was not let down. There were pics of this creeper fingering large ladies and had several dong pics. After laughing and showing my friends, I actually tried to call and find him to get him back his phone. When I got a hold of him he accused me of stealing his phone and was a complete asshat. Once again I did what any red-blooded American would and forward his dong pics and fingering photos to his contacts listed as mom, dad, grandma Horace, and aunt Jenny. I am sure I made it difficult for him to look his family in the eye after that. When someone is doing the right thing, don't be a duckhead or you might make them do something incredibly wrong. Probably the worst was licking the soles and sucking the toes of my friend's feet while she was asleep, and had no idea what I was doing. I also moved her ass cheeks apart and sniffed her shithole a little bit, and then fapped quietly. I feel really, really bad about it. My sister, who is one year younger than me had this really hot friend who I always had a crush on but who was never interested in me. Well, one day my sister asked me to fix her laptop, and I found a video of the two of them doing some lesbian fooling around. Neither of them was gay to my knowledge so I was blown away. I saved a copy of the video to my thumb drive and wanked to it furiously for weeks. I eventually came to terms with the fact that it wasn't just the friend getting me off, it was the fact that she was with my sister. I would start doing creepy shit like sneaking into her room while she was sleeping and touching her and licking her leg as high up her thigh I could. About a year and a half after I found the video, my sister was killed in a car accident. Her friend came to the funeral of course, and while she was kneeling alone over the casket saying her goodbyes I wondered if she was thinking of what her and my sister used to do with each other, and I got an erection right there at the viewing. I got home and loaded up the video again and had another wank and then cried. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.